Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Um, I am Ono from Tokyo University. I'm sorry, um, my organization is so difficult to read, but this is abbreviated as Editoria. And I belong to this organization. And um, open science, uh, we, we look at open science. And uh, my field is part of the open science. In a broad sense, this is the um, ideal of open science. I think this is what you would uh, imagine. Uh, the researchers uh, provide uh, data, and uh, then that would uh, contribute to the uh, development of science and then uh, in turn society. And that is all good, but uh, if you take a look at reality, on the other hand, what is happening? And it's very easy to know that. Uh, so you, you can just grab any researcher and ask this question. Doctor, among the research data that you have, how much of that uh, has been shared with others? And obviously, uh, they would uh, find it very difficult to answer that question. Um, because uh, those that are for open science um, do not have much uh, different data or uh, answer. So they are for that, but uh, in reality, they are not doing that. So there is a gap between reality and ideal status and what needs to be done in order to fill that gap. That's what I'm going to talk about. And um, my presentation, uh, based on uh, what uh, is Onodera and uh, Ogasaka uh, presented, um, I would like to build up on that. And uh, let me just introduce myself before I go into the presentation. My area of expertise is special information science. It's not just natural science, but social science and humanities. Uh, there is an uh, interdisciplinarity where we interact with those other different disciplines. And uh, if you, of course, um, it's easier to merge, um, a fuse, um, uh, different uh, disciplines, and the more recent example for my expertise is meteorology and uh, uh, transportation and logistics. And this is totally different from what I um, do the, as a research, but I'm interested in colors and continents, and I'm qualified to do the assessment, and I uh, love cooking. There are more than 80 different condiments uh, in my house, and I uh, come up with a new uh, curry powder, uh, every time I uh, combine uh, different uh, types of uh, fusion of uh, condiments. And I talked about fusion of different disciplines, but uh, what I'm talking about is now uh, the combination of different colors or combination of different condiments. So by combining something, is, uh, things different to come up with totally something totally new. That's uh, what I like. And uh, uh, taking advantage of uh, this nature, I have been involved in different projects. Uh, one example is ISO TC211, geospatial standard, or domestically, uh, the DS, uh, data integration analysis system for Earth's environment, and uh, international version of DS, a geo, or group on Earth observation, and, and also Belmont Forum, data sharing group, as a member of this uh, data sharing group, I was once quite active. And my main project is uh, still the Diaz project. So I'd like to go more uh, in detail on this. And Diaz is the um, uh, data uh, sharing infrastructure for uh, Earth's environment. And Diaz, the term Diaz has been used from 2006, and we are now phase three of DS. And one of the characteristics of this uh, is, um, ha as Dr. Kitamoto said at the uh, past Spark Japan, the community and the data uh, uh, infrastructure, there are two different layers, and IT is supporting data infrastructure, and community infrastructure uh, has been supported by the researchers in different areas, 
and uh, earth uh, environment uh, issues are taken up in the community infrastructure and research, different researchers would come up with different uh, data for uh, contribution and uh, also data analysis. So that's how the research is being done. And uh, of course, uh, I have been uh, heavily involved in this type of projects, but there's, uh, there are other areas that I was quite ha have been quite active, and that's education. I teach at Tokyo University, and I also organize summer schools in uh, Asian countries uh, doing field studies and also industry academia uh, collaboration uh, in dam operation support system for rivers. For example, Tokyo University uh, could come up with the models and methodologies and utilities uh, provide uh, power data and consul consul construction consultation company will do the operation. So that's how we collaborate and this is one of the examples. And uh, so that's how I have been working with the private sector and accumulated uh, experiences. And in the phase three of DS, uh, which is currently uh, running, uh, we are uh, emphasizing business model establishment. So why business model, you may ask. But the key word is sustainability. As you know, the national uh, budget uh, is going to shrink going forward so as a data infrastructure you have to make sure that you can be sustainable on your own and in open uh, science forum there are uh, there is a, a, a lot of talk about sustainability and uh, we are also working on that sustainability at ds uh, which is quite challenging but there are a lot of uh, different ideas being floated but as we develop business model, uh, DS members are not going to uh, obtain an MBA, uh, for instance, but the key is the people. Uh, the, how many people can get uh, on board the DS idea? That's the key. So where are the potential users? You have to investigate into that and then uh, try to reach out to them. So that's how I have been involved in various activities, but uh, obviously not everything is going well. Uh, sometimes uh, the, there's a gap between data uh, users and data providers. Needs and sees are not matching each other. And But before diving into the details, uh, I'd like to talk about data sharing, data, uh, open data. Uh, well, data sharing, the definition of data sharing is to work out the rules between specific in individuals or organizations to provide data. And in, on the other hand, in open data, you provide data to unspecified others uh, without any special restriction. And this has been also used internationally. So this is a definition um, that, that is valid internationally. So. Well, open data is more comprehensive uh, concept. So data, uh, uh, open data may sound as if it is better because there's no restriction, but uh, that is not necessarily the case because uh, in the eyes of data providers, uh, it is easier to get feedback in the data sharing arrangement. Because if you think more closely, I think you can tell why that is? Because in a specific uh, range, you uh, not just share the data, but uh, also share the rules. So you can uh, easily imagine who you are talking to, and it's easier to communicate with them. But on the other hand, in the case of open data, uh, it's just an arbitrary third party. So it's very difficult to tell who you are uh, providing the data to and where and how the data is being used. Uh, you don't even know if uh, you can get in touch with them. So it's very difficult to get feedback. So whether you can get the feedback or not uh, is extremely important for researchers. And this diagram has been used in the study meeting at DS and uh, uh, a person called Maita has come up with this. And there are two different uh, axes. 
those edgy researchers who、uh, tend to drill into a specific、uh, area,、uh, they tend to go vertically. But open science is more like horizontal direction. So the assumption or precondition theory for open science is that、uh, if someone、uh, uses that data and something interest- interesting might happen, that、uh, optimistic、uh, estimate is the basis. So it, the It could be the case that some, somebody can do something interesting, but for the、uh, researchers that are doing、uh, a specific area in a very deep manner,、uh, it doesn't matter whether there is such potential. And so, from that perspective, the DOI or citation、uh, is、uh, the true type of incentive, but there are people who.、Uh, there are Uh, people that uh, this m a t t e r and、uh, this doesn't matter. And、uh, so, the D- if、um, you are trying to make good、uh, performance and、uh, outcome of the research is just a means, then、uh, citation could be a strong incentive. But if you are not Uh, if you don't care about the performance and if you just、uh, would like to get involved heavily in the research, then the citation doesn't matter and the direct feedback from the researchers in the same field would matter most. So, from the data, rather than data, open data, but data sharing has been always the identity for us, DS, from that perspective. But、um, as you know,、uh, Uh, the, uh, there has been、uh, increasing pressure for uh, external, externally、um, making the data open, so we also have to address that as well. And in order to get the guidance going forward,、um, I have organized the survey amongst the researchers. And for the details, The uh, 11 uh, November uh, issuance of information management has the details, so I hope you can reference that at your leisure. But today, in the interest of time, I just would like to share with you part of that、uh, research、uh, survey results and the findings that we have obtained. And the question first one I'm sure you all have this question, but、uh, researchers are. Simply opposed to providing data. That may be what you think, but actually, the answer is that 94.7% of researchers,、uh, even though they have not provided the data but、uh, are planning to provide data or considering the possibility. So, if you think that、uh, you can provide the data, then why didn't you? That would be the、uh, obvious question. So, the answer to that question is that they don't have enough time. That is the biggest、uh, reason. And、um, uh, also, there is no incentive. That's the second、uh, most frequent. But actually, the no time is the,、uh, more than the double in terms of the frequency. So, even if this, there is citation and other motivation,、um, it may. Not be the case that they can provide the data so、uh, smoothly. Then,、uh, who you are willing to provide data to? And this is the result. The blue is about metadata, and the red is about the data itself. And the higher you go,、um, the larger the range of a publication, and the lower you go, The narrower the range of the publication. And with regard to metadata, researchers in general are willing to publish their、uh, metadata. But as for the data per se,、uh, they, are, they don't care if、uh, the data is provided to those that are concerned、uh, or related somewhat, but、uh, not everybody. Then, what would be the conditions that are appropriate in sharing or Making the pu- public the data. 
and these are the conditions. It may be a bit uh, complicated for you to see, but on the left, uh, the result of my survey in Japan, and on the right, you see the reference uh, survey, uh, which is from the uh, international project called Data One, and the blue bar show the answers from data providers what would be the conditions that they would like to see in providing data. And the red shows the uh, conditions that uh, data users can accept in using the data. And uh, there are interesting findings from this. Uh, I can't cover everything, uh, so I can just highlight three. The first one uh, is common between uh, domestic and international survey results. So the site, you have to uh, specify that you have used that data in your paper or data uh, use uh, requirements have to be complied with. And uh, the other is from Japan. So this is the, uh, these are the conditions that can be accepted by data users. If they uh, are allowed to use that data, then uh, they are willing to accept even uh, a bit rigorous uh, requirements. That's what uh, you can glean from the result of this data. Now, uh, as uh, international standards, what are the differences uh, between the domestic and international results? That's about project uh, participation opportunities. As a condition for providing data, uh, People, researchers in uh, outside of Japan uh, emphasize that they would like to be uh, participate in the project. So data sharing uh, has been regarded as one of the opportunities for them to uh, collaborate. That's uh, what you have seen in the international results, but not in the domestic survey results. And this is a data, open data conditions. The, in CC license, uh, so data a CC license um, display uh, is the must. That's the first condition. And second most frequent is that cre as a Creative Commons uh, license issue, if you don't comply with that, there's no particular penalty. So uh, free riding tend to occur. That has been uh, raised as an issue. So what would be the most appropriate um, penalty. That was my personal interest, so I asked that question. Then uh, it's not like uh, a penalty, but uh, you should at least uh, require them to stop using the data. So this is a summary of my research and survey, and this is based on the format of Q&A. So this is frequently asked questions. Frankly speaking, after the completion of survey, I think I can draw some conclusions. But the I have to say that the, I am not fully convinced with everything I laid the, the listed up here, so, and also for the solutions the, of the the uh, issues raised. We I don't ha do not have a full list of items to be used. So please note that this is the situation that we are faced with at this moment. And based on this understanding, we have to consider what we can do in the future. So this is what we have to do in the future. And that to be brief in explaining to you the uh, what we can do. Uh, this is not a complete list, but. The, the first prerequisite is that we should not make a hasty decision, which is likely to be very wrong. So it is important not to adopt any idea or rules. One thing that the uh, bothers me is that we talk about open sciences, and then whenever we hear that term, many people say that Japan is lagging behind. We have to be urgent in deciding on our this, the uh, the the things we do, but uh, the, I am not totally convinced here. Based on my experiences, certainly there are many challenges the, which have been adopted outside of Japan. Many new ideas, new concepts are being tried. However, the about 
the, the kind of approaches by each and individual researchers for all the disciplines. But there could be some people who are advanced, but there are other people who are not advanced at all. So if you make a comparison, then the situation here in Japan is not that bad. So this is the supporting data. United Kingdom is the leader in this field of open data. And let's take a com the look at the, the comparison. The comparison, sharing 46%, not sharing 54%, which is about the same as in Japan. So advanced people are <coughs> very advanced outside of Japan, but certainly in Japan, many people are very much advanced. So the, we can safely say that all the countries are in the, uh, try and fail, try, the, 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 the trial phase. And in the case of life sciences, many of the countries are advanced. In other fields, it's very much lagging behind. So that's the mixed situation, which is prevalent in many of the countries we adopted here. So we should not be hasty in doing things. In order to support this, the, uh, we have this, uh, these figures. The, with time, things would change. People have difficult, different the awareness. So this is the, the basic research and the follow-up data. So after several years, things will change, especially the, the awareness of the researchers. After several years, the, the, uh, of the, uh, after the first uh, the survey, we can say that the many of the researchers have positive ideas and po positive understanding of the data sharing. However, at the same time, many of the people are very the, uh, the trying to be in full understanding of the risks. So in the past, people started thinking about the data sharing and many good things have been mentioned. But now we are hearing a lot about risks. So we should not be hasty. It is better not to make any decisions rapidly in just to produce the outcome. Certainly, the, uh, Dr. Kitamoto talked about the uh, importance of time, importance of speediness, but I think the, we should not be too hasty in doing things uh, without having the necessary deliberations. And one more thing that I learned is that there was a, a discrepancy of the feelings or awareness about the data sharing. Young people tend to pay attention to the credit, and the senior researchers tend to be, pay more attention to the budget or money. So incentives for the researchers would vary depending on the age group. So again, allow me to repeat myself. It is better not to make a hasty decision, but rather it is better to have the, the continuation of effort. We, the, we, are now, we have now reaching the 2012, 2017, and the, the, in the case of Diaz, already three decades have elapsed since we started working on it. And then the, about the open government and open science. Some people uh, use the term open science in the framework of open government, and the, uh, we sometimes have fights over this issue. So please note that these two uh, concepts are totally different. So allow me to explain to you uh, uh, just to recap on what you are understanding. The open by default is open government. So that means that you are able to use it without any knowledge whatsoever when we talk about the public data. But we are talking about scientific data, research data. So the, for example, I talked about the river. The, so the, for example, the distributional the, uh, leakage model, the uh, initial parameter set, and then who is about to use it? if it is open. So the, the, the opening it to the third party would not make any sense. So that kind of balance should be taken into account in thinking about the open science. One more thing that is very important is the uh, differences of the position in the, the, the positions for each issue. So based on the democracy, the, the citizens would request the uh, the data set and the government would have to open the uh, data however the it is all right to raise your voices against the the, the national government or local government but does it hold true with the researchers i still am not very much convinced that the we have to provide information if the uh, the research is uh, the public funded to the general public are we uh, public servants we, are we not we are not so so this is a very in, the important issue, as you know. 
the uh, Brexit, uh, the Brexit issue, the Brexit issue, and the also the President, the, uh, the Trump, being elected by the uh, U.S. citizen. So sometimes the uh, the public, the public would make the, the wrong decisions. So the researchers are not the public servant. The researchers, even if they funded publicly, should be the servant for the facts. So even if there is a voice from the government or the public, it doesn't have to the bound the, to bind the uh, researchers. So it is better not to listen to the voices of the government. If I try to convince you in this line, maybe this is too dangerous, but still, that's how I'm looking at it. And then the, uh, Mr. Kosaka talked about this. Kogasaka talked about this. This, this is about the data management plan. I took a look at the actual data management plan, which is widely used by the Western researchers. It's mixed. Some of them are the text-based, and others were covering the specification, very detailed specification of data. So the nature was very different with each other. The, the creating data management plan might not be too effective. So I have to raise the question here. I think it is important to make it the uh, mandatory. The uh, it, well, it is better to think about this the before thinking about the uh, mandatory implementation of data management plan. And I listened to the presentation by uh, Mr. Kokasaka. Uh, he is also thinking about this, and I was relieved. In in the case of Japan, many of the uh, the person in charge would look at this in a detailed manner. So the, if we are able to pre pre present the successful cases to the rest of the community in the world, then that would make very much sense. So what to do from now on? So again, I have to say that this is abstract. We should not draw a conclusion at this the right away. The, do not be, we, we should not be too hasty. And then the, when something is done, it is important to revisit the, the outcome and whether to see if it was uh, the, the successful or not. And then this is event where, which is attended by many of the people related to libraries. So libra the, the people in, related to libraries might have difficulty connecting their expertise with the research data. So I try to make a comparison here. So this is the, the light topic that I'd like to share with you to lighten up the, uh, the tone of the presentation at the end. Let's make a comparison between the uh, literature and the research data in terms of volume. And this is a national the diet reliability. A number of the collection is the 41 million. And the, according to that, the DS has a 68 million. So the, it, is, it has the public data. So this could be several times larger than that if you include that. But this is a volume we have. And then the, in what way are we able to add metadata? And that is the problematic. And so the, in what way are we able to use it as a data? So um, if you go visit the national data, national diet library, if we have to add the, the metadata on top of everything, then that will be too cumbersome. It is impossible. So about this data issue, so the, we have been having, we are having difficulty dealing with this. If you have any good idea, please let us know. And then this is about the, com the comparison of the size. The largest book ever is called Baba Mia Manual, and the, it is the 34 centimeter thick, and this is a collection of Obama and pluralism. And then the largest image data is Himalaya, and the, this is about the 46 terabyte. The point I'd like to make here is that they, it is not the data is the extremely large, but the large book can be handled by a child if he is committed. But in the case of data, just the sending the data from one place to the other, we have to have a special environment. So that's the limitation of data. The, so this is a very big uh, difference between the physical book and the image data. And lastly, I'd like to say just one more thing. At the end of the dedicated time given to me, 
the, we have we are talking about many things, which many of them these are abstract in the open sciences. So in, in many cases, we tend to focus too much on the technology issues and abstract issues, and then in the in some cases we tend to forget the uh, the perspective for the various important players, data providers and data users. So in the case of articles, the physical articles, we are talking about authors and readers. So the beyond the time, it is important to connect these two parties. So libraries would, would have to continue playing the role in connecting the authors and the readers. So in continuation, we have to continue working on the connection between the data providers and data users. So that's something we expect for libraries, for the data creations and library, the roles of the libraries, librarians. I think the, this could be related to, this could be, could be involved in the, the initiative to connect the providers and users. That's all for me. Thank you very much.